be on your island. Thank you very much. Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and welcome to my channel. If you've not already, please hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell so you stay notified each and every time we upload. Now, if this is your first time here, we travel all over the world hunting and fishing and diving and just exploring what this beautiful earth has to offer. I love my family, I love my friends, and I love having a good time. Fish Look at that! Yeah, boys! Well, we've now made over 800 videos, and I've been traveling virtually my entire life. The most common question I've ever asked is, where is the most epic place you've ever been? That's such an impossible answer because there's so many places that, that could easily be my favorite. The Amazon, going down spending time in Guyana, in the northern Rupununi, traveling through like the, the beautiful jungles and rainforests near Rewa, catching Arapaima and just amazingly huge fish. That could be it. And I mean, I look forward to going back to Guyana one day. Alaska, we just got back from Alaska. The majesty of the mountains and all the wildlife whales, salmon, and huge halibut. Alaska could easily be number one. Heck, my hometown, Jupiter, Florida, could easily be number one because we have so many amazing things to do here, and it's my home. I grew up spending time in Fiji, Lali Bay, Gamea, the Northern Lao group, going to all the outer islands there, that could easily be number one because Fiji is really where I became a man. That's where I really found myself, found my direction. The Fisher family, Bulavanaka, Vuna'apa Alevu for everything that you did for me. Fiji will never, ever be something that is less than amazingly special to me. But when you look at that number one most epic trip that I've ever been on, I've got to go with the CNMI, the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. Last year, exactly one year ago today, my crew, my family, myself, and a team led by Governor Ralph Torres we embarked on one of the most mind-blowing expeditions I've ever been around. That right there is the biggest crab of any kind I've ever seen in my life. Now you might ask yourself, why would the sea and the Mai, why would going to Pagan with your family and exploring the island of Mong, what, how and why would that be so special? And I would have to preface that with how how did I come to go there? Well, a few years ago, I met P.K. Hokok at a meet and greet at the Silver Stag factory in Blaine, Washington. He showed up four hours early and he drove four hours to get there and he had a little boy with him, Brian. After speaking with him, spending time with him, him telling me about his island of Rhoda, in my heart, I knew I wanted to take him home. He had never been home and I knew I wanted to take him home. So once we booked a trip and I took him back to Rhoda and I got to meet all the people of the CNMI, all of you, all of you that are watching right now, you brought me in. You made me feel like family. And you know what? I will never forget that. Well, as we went on, as we started to build friendships and relationships and I started to feel like a part of the community, then, I started to dig into the history of the CNMI, the Battle of Saipan, Tinian, the Enola Gay, the turning point in the battle in the Pacific during World War II. I started realizing that thousands upon thousands of US military men died on those islands. 
What did they die for? They died for freedom. They died to fighting tyranny. They died protecting the United States of America. And you know what? The CNMI, it proudly flies the flag of the United States of America. My homeland. Yet if I walk through these streets, if I walk to my next door neighbor's house right over there, knock on the door, and I asked them, hey, you know where the CNMI is? They would go, no. If I walked up and down this whole road, unless they saw it on this channel right here, more than likely they would never know what the CNMI was. If I were to ask them, are you familiar with the Battle of Saipan? They might have heard of it, but more than likely, unless their grandfather fought in that battle or they were a history major, they would not know and more importantly, they would not know that it is U.S. soil. We just walked out on this beach for one minute. Sarah's already found a piece of a shell casing and a 50 caliber projectile, full metal jacket. M, we'll walk together, baby. And when you can't walk anymore, I'll carry you. This is a huge, huge bunker. Ugh. From here, you can see that tip. You can see all the way down over here. Wow. To think that I'm in a Japanese bunker meant for the use of warfare during World War II here in the Pacific. The Chamorros the Rafalawash, all the people that make up the CNMI. You are so worthy. You are such a great people. And you know what? You, you are why I consider the CNMI and my trip to the Northern Islands, Rota, Tinian, Saipan. You are the reason why that was the most epic trip of my life. How did certain people stand out to me? And how did the people of the CNMI make me feel so incredibly special? I can tell you, on one of our first nights on Poggin, we were all sitting around the campfire, we were telling stories, and it was one of those special bonding moments. Men, women, children, a campfire, and incredible food. The stories resonated in me. All of you, the mayor, all of your people, Gov, your family, all of us telling stories on how we got there. Take this. Done. You want me to show you a trick? Do this. <laughs> And then, in a moment of silence, Mayor gets up and gives me this. This necklace, made out of spondylus, something that I wear with honor, dignity, pride, and thankfulness. It means more to me than money. Then, at a gathering of the Carolinians, the Rafalawash community, where I had the opportunity to tell my story and thank all of you for treating me like part of your community, like part of your family. You presented me with this amazing gift. I do not wear this because it's pretty. I wear it because it means so much to me. This represents my family. It represents a moment in time that I will never forget. And as I thank you all, all the families started walking up and handing me their family crests. Lieutenant Governor, thank you so much. All of these most beautiful pieces of art that represent much more than just a simple thank you. It represents a bond we have amongst our families. Every single day when I sit at my desk, they hang one on the left, one on the right. I look at them every day and I remember that trip. 
We caught lots of fish. We saw amazing beauty. Big, huge, beautiful mountains. The most crystal clear ocean. Caught giant groupers and dog tooth tunas. Red snapper. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. But you know what? You can catch fish in lots of places. The reason this trip is, was, and will always be so special to me is because the memories that I made there can never, ever be replaced. I just wanted to say it's been a great honor and pleasure for all of us. It's a dream come true. If this is your first video that you've ever watched of Deer Meat for Dinner, I thank you for taking the time just to sit here and hear about a trip that means so very much to me. If you've been watching for a long, long time, I thank you for your support and your love and your encouragement because what you do for us, it's like the wind beneath our wings. It's, it motivates me to do more, more than I ever have and to be the best version of me. I wanna make the best videos and tell the best stories and see all of the world, but to each and every American, to everybody out there, I encourage you to look up the Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, the CNMI. People of America, you need to know how special the CNMI are. And you need to go there and see it with your own eyes. So often we hear of D-Day in the Atlantic, on the beaches of Normandy, but few people know that virtually the exact same time, just a few days later, we had just an amazingly important amphibious landing on the beaches of Saipan. And as terrible of a war as that was, it was such a decisive victory, won on the backs of the United States of America and her allies. The blood of the U.S. was spilled on that beach so that we could have freedom. And you know what? To all of the Japanese that lost their life there, and to all of the Japanese that jumped from the cliffs, the suicide cliffs, the bonsai cliffs, the men and women who died on that island of fierce battle, I hope you look back and see that it is a beautiful island full of beauty, full of happiness, steeped in honor and tradition and culture. One of the most friendly places I've ever been and I encourage each and every one of you, if you've never been somewhere that you can literally say, wow, I took a, a step back in history. I saw where it all took place. Fly to the CNMI. United Airlines flies from the US directly right into Saipan and from there you can go to Tinian. You can see where the atomic bomb was assembled. You can see where you can drive down the runway where the Enola Gay took off and as terrible as that was, that put an end to the war in the Pacific and it saved millions of lives. That trip last year, over two and a half months, it cost a fortune and I've never even looked to see how much we made back because I know that we made a difference as travel opens up reach out to the MVA the Mariana Visitors Authority go stay at one of these beautiful hotels that we got to stay at the Kensington one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my entire life. I felt like it was a hotel straight off the Las Vegas Strip. Amazing, and they like treated us like we were the most important people in the world. Everyone was so entirely friendly and wonderful to us. And I'm making this video thanking each and every one of you that made it possible. This pandemic that we experienced during the last year it wrecked countless lives. It altered so many businesses. It destroyed lots of people. But thankfully, together, 
we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. And as we make it out, and as you start making travel plans, I certainly hope you consider the CNMI. Go see all the islands, Rota, Tinian, Saipan, and Atahan, and the rest of the Northern Islands. It is an absolute beauty to behold. And more important than anything you will see with your eyes is the love that you will feel from the people. Everybody, I wanna say thank you for making this trip possible. Governor Torres, you are like a brother to me and I thank you for all that you did for me. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And CNMI, I am coming back. I love you. We gone.